Hey folks, a trace monk here, playing some more Pillars of Eternity, and we're about to go investigate our apparently ruined camp. Oh, sneaking did us no good there. All around you lie the massacred remains of the other travelers, peppered with arrows and knife hilts, splayed and bug-eyed and filthy. Kalisha puts the back of her left hand to her mouth as if to ward away some poisonous vapor. A handful of dark figures stand above, stand above the fallen, treading on limbs and backs and heads, jerking their axes from bodies as if from half-split logs. One of them, towering and severe with a thick beard tasseled with knots, holds a wet blade at the neck of the man you recognize as Hayoden, the last of your caravan left standing. Lay down your arms, trespasser. Do not forfeit this man's life for a fight you will lose. Well, we have not trespassed. We merely wish to pass through. Your words carry no weight when I have seen the truth with my own eyes. Blood must be paid for this intrusion. So I say again, lay down your arms. Now, let's see, we have options. We can say, only a fool attacks a weak enemy while a stronger one yet lives. You can kill him, but you might as well be killing yourself. Or we can rush him before he can react. We can put our weapons down. Or say, if I put my weapons down, if I put down my weapons, we're all dead. We're, we're a barbarian. I mean, seriously. Is this really a question? We're going to rush the dude. Your surprising speed catches the man off guard. He hurls Hayoden out of the way in hopes of buying himself time to defend your charge. Yeah, there's less dudes here, too. Because there were three last time. There... One is sneaking around me. Hmm? Okay, so let's take Hayoden. You get out of there, because you shouldn't be in the front line anyway. Hmm? Alicia, go after this hunter dude. Yeah. We'll take on the Glenfathen leader. And yeah. crit and destroyed that guy. Let's attack the leader. Target destroyed. Your enemy lies supine on the ground, unable to rise, his companions now silent among the other dead. His breath comes in wheezing, fitful gasps. He looks not at you, but at the sky above. Forgive us. Barely audible beneath his choked sighs, a whisper of wind stirs the air. At this, the man's eyes roll back as he closes them. Good, good. The gods are just... A queer smile crosses his face. I am ready. The wind begins to swell, whipping around the camp, electric and volatile, upending pots and rattling tents like an angry spirit. You can feel it seep, begin to seep beneath your skin, and where it pierces you, it feels as though it is rending you apart from within. Seated against a wagon wheel amidst the howling maelstrom slashed across chest and bowel, Automa's body stirs. And with great effort, he raises his sagging head, his eyes barely open. He looks directly at you. Get inside! Run! All right, we're running. We're running away from the creepy winds of a Biawak. <sighs> Strong. 
straining against a gale that threatens to pull you off your feet. With every step, you set your hands on the worn folds of weathered rock and set about pulling yourself up the precipice. With a last burst of energy before your arms give out, you swing yourself up onto the ledge. Hayoden trails behind, slowed by injury and delayed by early hesitation. As he nears the face of the rocks, one of the fallen attackers who had been feigning death lunges for Hayoden and topples him to onto the rocky ground. Restrained, Hayoden lashes out against his fatigued assailant, but struggles to break his hold. They are close to you. Despite the wind from your, your position, if you were to throw your weapon at the attacker, you would have a good chance at hitting your mark. Well, we're going to throw our weapon. Your aim is true and the hit jars Hayoden loose. Lurching to his feet, Hayoden clambers up the base of the rocks. As he nears the top, however, the wind flares, pulling him sideways and tearing one of his hands free. But diving out onto the hard rock, you manage to catch hold of it. Securing his other hand, you pull with waning strength, and it feels as though your arms will be jerked from their sockets. They hold just long enough for Hayoden to set his feet and join you on the trembling ledge. There is a deep resonance to the swelling wind now. You feel it in the rocks beneath your feet and inside the cavity of your own chest, as though it would shake the marrow from your bones. Each new gust menaces the, new, the old stones before you, loosening connections, unsettling balances. As you dart beneath the archway, the entire portal begins to fall beneath its own weight. Was that? A Beowick. Had to be. Alive. And we're the only ones. Here. There could be another collapse. <clears throat> We're not getting out that way anyway. Let's get further inside. Okay. Stay quiet. We're gonna sneak. The ruins of Silent Lease. Lower level of the ruins has been right. blocked off by fallen rubble. That should be far enough. <sighs> but what now? Out. Storm has to die sometime. All right. Well, what happened out there? Windstorm of a kind they only get in Erglanfeth. Not too many people live through them, so it's hard to know what's true. The Glanfathen word is Biowak. To them, it's the gods' way of reaping souls of the land that couldn't find their own way out. But they'll take a living soul as soon as, as soon as a dead one. Who attacked us? Glanfathans. Those would be the hut dwellers Odama warned you about. Looked to be fangs of Galloway, who are the twitchiest of the lot. They go ruin to ruin looking for fights with colonists. Poor Odima. I think he half expected this once we lost the main road. The Glanfathans said we trespassed in the ruins. I don't believe that. Odima would never allow it. But as much as the Fangs are hotheads, Glanfathans don't attack without being provoked. Either they saw something and got the wrong idea, or... She glances down the passage beyond. Or there's looters in here with us. That's not something we need right now. Well, what about everybody else in the caravan? The wheels got hold of them now. Gods grant them better luck in their next lives. And you don't seem too upset about all this. Maybe you just don't know me enough to know what upset looks like. And maybe I've seen worse. Seen worse and kept on walking, because there's nothing else to be done, and because there's other people you care about who still need you. Well, let's get going. Um, hey. We need, like, all of you. Hmm. Um. Dang it, there is a keybind to select everybody. Yeah. Stay quiet. Stealth, but we need to go into our character because I had just remembered, hey, we threw our weapon. I don't necessarily expect us to be particularly good with a bow, but... Oh, 
Oh, hey. Yeah, he actually has three daggers. Okay, so we aren't without a weapon. Oh, yeah, let's... Quick slot these potions. Sneak around some. Wonder who was here. See if they left anything useful behind. Camping supplies, mace, a hammer and chisel. We have a small shield, a torch. Uh, you guys don't need any of that stuff. Um, so we shall. No, we'll just stack those with the rest of our lock picks. Let's see. And we'll leave the hammer and chisel in our inventory. We have access to the stash here even without the stronghold because we're on an easier difficulty and haven't turned it off. If you play, I think it's expert mode, you can only access the stash. There's also a separate toggle for it. And yeah, oh, oh, oh yeah, that's right, it was down in this room. Alright. <coughs> a trembling, sickly creature emerges from the dark, clutching a spear. Knobbly elbows and thin ribs show through its scaly flesh, but you recognize it as a Zaurup. It watches you cautiously, breathing in ragged sighs. Oh, let's. I tried the I tried the nice way last time I went through this little section here. But let's. I mean, we are a barbarian. There stands that we'd be a little aggressive here. It's kind of like don't. It lunges, raising the spear. Okay. Well, everybody attack. What you need? You, go ahead and try to knock him down. And he's dead. You drop his spear. Awesome. Okay. Because this spear has accuracy on it. And it's 12 to 18 pierce versus the 10 to 15 slash on the dagger. So, it's a different damage type, but we can still wield it one-handed. Both average speed, but that's okay. Nope. Nope. Mm. Everybody, what's... What is... Do we have a control for select all? It's backspace. Okay. So, mm -hmm. if I just do, like, select him and then hit backspace. Okay. Selects everybody. Never know I'm here. Oh, dead bodies. Ooh, we got like a whole bunch of inventory here. Uh, crossbow, leather armor, an Ingwithin relief gem, torch, and a tattered journal. Let's, uh, see here. Oh. All right, let's see this journal. This small folio is torn in several pieces and blood has soaked into several of the sheets. On one later entry is still legible, however. I can't believe my luck. A few rounds of dice and I've got my hands on a genuine Ingwithin artifact. Fellow who had it said it was a pretty nothing. 
as he as far as he's concerned he's not willing to go digging in some ruins but if he's right about this gem leading to a hidden treasure then that's worth sneaking past a few painted elves i'll head to si to silent is that, i don't know if that's supposed to be silent or silent silent lease in the morning then it's just a matter of finding this relief he was talking about so we actually probably want to take this thing out of the stash. Can we do that? Can we take it out? You gonna let me move? Okay, I can move that stuff. Oh, I guess this is quest items. It just goes straight into there. Is that what that is? Yeah, it's quest items. Okay. Oh, well, let's sneak down this. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's attack this Skulder Whelp. Ooh. What did he do? I don't know. Did some sort of screamy thing. It doesn't appear to have had any effect on us. At least beyond maybe taking out some endurance. Scalder ear. Keeping quiet. Yeah. Stay quiet. Alright, there's a hatchet. What's up with... Could be a shortcut. A crack runs along this wall from floor to ceiling. A light gust of air passes through it. Well, let's try pushing on the wall. Despite the damage, the stone looks heavy and solid. Let's try something else. Let's use the hammer and chisel to weaken the wall. There's several... Okay. Leaving a gap. One of your characters has become fatigued. Yeah. Okay. Well, one of us has become, a, has become fatigued. Who's fatigued? All of us are fatigued. Minor fatigue. Minus five all defenses. Minus ten accuracy. 90% of our maximum endurance. Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe we should camp. I don't know, though. Shh. Let's, let's sneak. What's our current? Oh. Suspicious. Let's be careful. Ah, uh, yes, I am somewhat familiar with what the deal with this room is. Just like the tiles. Use the torch to light that brazier. Okay. Well, you see now there's like a path we can walk across over there. I'll be quiet. What's in this room though? Uh-oh. Oozy things which have not seen us. Well, I guess uh, next time we'll try battling the oozes. At least uh, I don't know what they actually are, but you know, they looked like oozes on the floor in there. And see what is going on in these ruins, because something creepy is happening. Alright, well, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.